And I'm playing the second league of the day. I played Humans, the list that won Mythic Championship London earlier today. And you can find that somewhere on my YouTube channel, probably under the modern um, playlist. So we're going to play Titan Shift next because it also top aided uh, Mythic Championship London in the hands of Tian Win, the quote unquote creator of Titan Shift. I don't know if he actually created it, but he was the first one I saw play it back in 2015. And he top aided the, uh, the modern Grand Prix with it. Completely unknown. I don't think he was on camera once. And he wrote a pretty good. Uh, tournament report way back in the day that I remember reading. So it's nice to see his name up there again, especially in the top eight of a mythic championship with Titan Shift. Um, and so I'm pretty excited to try some of the innovations that he did for, for the mythic championship. And I think a lot of what's going on here is pretty, pretty good. And I'm pretty attracted to the changes that he has made. So without further ado, let's break it down. Let's break it down. So I actually grabbed a stomping ground. I guess we're playing 14 mountains. Um... To start off with, we're playing 14 Mountains, which I just now figured out. Um, I thought we were going to be playing... What are we normally playing that we're, that we're not here? I guess we're just up a land. Yeah, we're at 27 lands instead of 26, which is really strange. But, I don't know. Whatever. Tien's the genius. I'm not. Um, although, I guess he did have London Mulligan. Maybe that's a London Mulligan decision, which is no longer on MTGO, for the record. Those of you watching, the London Mulligan is no longer on. We're in the Vancouver Mulligan. And... Uh, that means there's probably a lot less Neoform combo, but this, I guess, I don't know. I don't really understand why there's a 14th mountain in the deck. 13 was always more than enough, but we have 14 mountains. Uh, nothing really surprising here, except there's an extra Cinder Glade. Uh, we have the seven fetch lands that you'd expect. Two forests, shout out to uh, to Becky for always being right about the two forest thing. I always played three, but we're, we're playing two forests. And then we have four Valakuts, which makes sense. You always want four Valakuts in the Titan Shift deck since, you know, they can get blown up or whatever and you want to have access to plenty of them to grab. So that's how you say his name? Yeah, you say it Tien Nguyen. Um, at least I'm pretty sure. He can correct me if, if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how you say it because I remember asking him back in the day. Um... For interactive spells, I always break it down like this, the you know, the core eight, the interactive spells, the other ramp, and then the payoff. So we are at um, eight interactive spells, but Chandra kind of counts as a payoff card. It's kind of weird. Chandra is an interesting card to main deck here because it kind of plays both roles. I mentioned how I really like having 11 payoff cards. Um, usually I just play an extra summoner's pact, but having this Chandra that can kind of play both roles I think is pretty good, especially when you're trying to be killing things like uh, Thing in the Ice and stuff like that. So being able to like, you know, potentially ramp her out on turn three and like snipe down a Thing in the Ice I think is really, really attractive. And um, I'm pretty excited to try that out. I think that's pretty smart. It also functions as a pseudo ramp spell for casting Primeval Titan because it you know has you can add two mana to your mana pool. It doesn't count as physical lands, but I mean it still lets you cast a uh, Primeval Titan on the same turn as if you cast an Explosive Vegetation for four mana. So that's pretty sweet. Um, you have three Relic of Progenitus. Lots of graveyard decks going around, especially with Dredge and uh, Phoenix. Also, it's just a card that Tien played four relics in his initial like list, so it's just a card he's always played a high number of. And I mean, that's because the floor is pretty high. It's still just like a two-mana cycler at its worst, and that's pretty attractive. Um, Lightning Bolt. I mean, this card, we've played it a million times. Just best interactive card. We've seen Flame Slash before when we were trying to kill a couple more thing in the ices or just like bigger creatures in general, but I think I think it's time to go back to Lightning Bolts. Like with humans on the uptick and stuff like that, like instant speed plus just like being able to go face matters a lot of times in the uh, some of the less interactive matchups as well. So pretty excited to try Lightning Bolt. Also notably kills Karn. Like when Tron's really popular, we want to be on bolts for sure. Engineer Explosives in the main deck is odd. I I don't really know. I'm interested to try this out. Like, notice there's no damage sweeper. There's no anger. There's no anything else. We're playing engineer explosives specifically. So I don't really know what that's there to beat that, like, anger or sweltering suns wouldn't beat. But it is, like, maybe a little bit better in the fairer matchups than, like, anger or sweltering suns would be. Like, take, like, black green, for instance. Like, putting it on two to blow up the goifs and stuff like that is a lot better than having, like, an anger of the gods that you're staring at. But it is, like, a lot worse against dredge. But dredge is already a good matchup. So maybe we just don't care about that. Um, so these, these, the, the explosives and the Chandra and the switch to bolts, I think are the primary changes there. We also, like I said, went up a 27th land. We have the core eight, one man, or eight ramp spells that you always play. We also have four Farseek. Ugh. I hate Farseek. Hate it so much. Especially for 27 lands. I don't understand why we're not still not playing Explorer, but a Tark on the sideboard. Also Chandra's nice. Who is running 26 in Titan Shift? I've always played 26, I think. Not a fan of four Cinder Glades. I'd rather have the eighth fetch. Yeah. 
The 8th fetch gets a lot worse if you're not playing Colony Art Expedition. Why not just another basic? I don't know. Relic is free real estate. Also helps you win. Both also helps you win. Anger, Anger Bane was worse with open deck lists. Why is that true, Basic Witch? Probably for black green, as long as there are angers in the side, it's probably fine. I agree with that. Blind, it's probably better. Why is anger better than the blind? That's an odd statement. Because, like, even if you only have one anger, they can't really afford to play around it, right? That's just like, just, I don't know, that doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Because, like, it's like the one of. Like, how much can I, Maybe they can. Maybe you're right. That's that's still a little weird to me. Anyways, talking about how much I hate Farseek. Um, I mentioned that Explorer goes really good with Colony Art Expedition. You'll notice there's no Colony Art Expeditions in the deck, so maybe Farseek's a little bit better. And that probably explains why there's four Cinder Glades in the deck, is you always just want to be able to, be able to grab a dual land with your Farseek. I don't really know. That feels pretty corner case. But I'm not the genius that cooked this deck up and top eight it in a Mythic Championship with it. So we're going to give it a try before hating on it. But I, ugh, I hate just Rampant Growth in Modern. Like, I'll take Rampant Growth with any reasonable upside. Like, one mana Rampant Growth, here for it. Two mana rampant growth that has a creature that blocks and gains some life. Here for it. Actual rampant growth, but I can grab the like, dual land. Like, ugh. Blech. That is not a modern power level magic card. And this is, like, easily the worst card in our deck. I suspect we're going to be cutting them a lot. But there's actually a cyber guard TN win wrote, uh, wrote that I'm going to plug basically every time we sideboard. That way everybody can follow along with what I'm doing. And so that I don't look like a complete forehead. And, I don't know, go f too fast through Titan Shift. All right, the, the change I actually like a lot, Acid Moss. When Tron and Amulet are two of the biggest decks in the format, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Acid Moss being able to be a ramp spell that also interacts, like so it kind of can play both roles of like ramp spell and interaction. Love it. I think it's great. I've tried things like... Uh, I don't know, actual explosive agitation in this deck before as just like a four mana, like two for one kind of spell that like inter like that does something with lands, like in green. And like those were like fine, but not great. But being able to slow down our opponents potentially as soon as like turn three, just like actually stone rain them on the turn you would stone rain and ramp ourselves. So it plays to our plan while like actively slowing them down. Love it. I'm really excited to play some acid moss. And I don't know, I just think the card's, just the card's very good. So pretty excited about that. Um, not so excited about Farseek, but that's okay. Moving on, the 10, the 10 traditional, uh, payoff cards. Like I said, Chandra kind of flexes into being a, uh, a payoff card as well. So we still have 11 functional payoff cards, so I'm still pretty comfortable with that. And like I said, this is, this is Tien's recipe that he's followed for years. This is a recipe I've kind of followed suit with. I highly recommend you follow it. I'm a big fan of it. And if you're, you, you've been watching my Titan Shift content, you can definitely, definitely see the parallels. So... I'm pretty, pretty happy with this main deck. I really like the innovations of the Acid Moss and, like, the interactive spells. Farseek, I'm skeptical on, but maybe it's just good enough. All right. Opponents will play around at game one more than Titan Shift. Mini Titan Shift decks on two main. That's true. I think it shows to make main. If you only play one, you always draw it. That's true, how bro. That's very, very true. No colonies feels bad, man. I love colony. Jazba. Hey, Drake. Hi, Chad. How's everyone doing tonight? Excellent. You could play Explorer, but it can whiff. That's true. Which sucks in your primetime deck. I mean, I don't know. Two mana, two mana cycle is still the like the relic of at us rate. I'm not so so mad about it. Our promise is greater than explosive vegetation. I agree, Thali, and it was just an example. I'm really excited to play Acid Moss. Drake moves another step closer to playing Podza. I don't like it. I don't like it on a Podza. That doesn't count. It's awk for the Kurt. It feels win more. Ponza shift. <laughs> Listen, it's not Ponza shift. There's only three land destruction spells. All right, Chad, I'm done with you. We're going to the sideboard. All right, the sideboard, we have more of our main deck artifacts in the sideboard. We have a second explosives and a fourth relic. Big fan of that. Like I said, I've played the four relics in the 75 for a while. Um, that is something I've taken from TN. It's just like having four relics in the, the deck. Usually I do two main, two side, but three main when we don't have Anger of the Gods makes a little bit more sense, I think. And another engine explosives I've been pretty big fan of. Having to have access to that effect is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, Damping Sphere is a card I've been a huge fan of playing a lot of because of not just Tron, but specifically Amulet. But when we have cards like Mavani Acid Moss in our main deck, then maybe we don't have to play as many of this like pretty mediocre sideboard card. I don't know, it's still one of our better options, I think. So I think that we might want more of these after it's all said and done. But obviously I'm down to try two, and I'm happy to have at least two, but I definitely would not play less than two ever. 
All right, two opposite of Bayloth. That's the like tried and true, been done forever. You know, answer to like the black green problem of discarding all your stuff. Also, it'd be great against uh, the eight rack if we play against them again, because like that, like obviously, uh, discard's pretty good against us, and they can just like small pox our lands away. But ugh, Bayloth is <laughs> nice against them. Um, the fourth bolt is odd. I mean, another one mana removal spell in the like humans matchups fine, but I think I would like this at the end of the day to be a flame slash, but. I don't know, Lightning Bolt's still a fine card. Like, we're playing through main deck, just like more main deck cards in the sideboard. Here you go. Oh, well, I just screwed everything up. There you go. More main deck cards in the sideboard. Right there. Boop. Um, I guess it's fine. Like, it's still a one-man removal spell, but like I said, I'd like to see this be a Flame Slash, I think. Um, just for killing bigger stuff. Speaking of main deck cards in the sideboard, another Chandra. This makes sense. If we've decided that Chandra is, like, one of the best, like, payoff slash ramp cards, just, like, filler cards against the Ferret X, then... Um, Chandra in our sideboard makes a lot of sense. Um, Reclamation Sage. Tien doesn't like my uh, Caterpillar, so fine. We'll give the we'll give the old Sage a go. But this is obviously something that you can Green Sun Zenith for that blows up Blood Moon. Green Sun Zenith. Oh my God. Summoner's Pact for. You can also Green Sun Zenith for it. It's just not in our deck. Um, that blows up Blood Moon and various other things that you may need to answer. Like uh, Witch Bane Orb's a big one against uh, Were. Um, and that ends all the main deck cards in the sideboard. We have Tireless Tracker, which is a card advantage card that you can pack for. So I'm really happy to see one, I think. I'm not usually a huge fan of this card in the deck because I think a lot of our fair matchups are already good anyway. But um, I'm down to try it. I've, had, I've heard a lot of people have a lot of success with it. And like I said, it's having something that you can uh, summoners pack for means that summoners packs a lot better against your uh, fair decks because um, it's like cheap too and like. Maybe you can play it around Logic not a little easier than something like a uh, Primeval Titan. Or you can double spell the turn that you cast this. So um, there's a lot going for it. Like, it's much more reasonable to be able to Tyler's Tracker, Chandra in the same turn. That'd be a pretty nice turn against the Fair deck. Moving on, we have Dragon Lord Atarka. Once again, something you can Summoner's Pact for. So it's part of this little, like, Summoner's Pack, Summoner's Packetage. Um, that did not flow as well as I wanted it to. And it's just like a big thing. I don't know when I'm going to bring this in. I'm glad Tien has a sideboard guide because when I played this card, it was kind of atrocious. But whatever. It's big. It's fat. It kills lots of creatures. I don't know. It's... It's fat. It kills my opponent quickly. It could kill a Planeswalker. There you go. There's our answer. Who is One basic witch. You were asking about our answer, our plan for Ashiok. Here's our plan. We're going to kill it. After, uh, you know, you know... Pacting for it. What's the problem? What's the problem here, chat? Moving on, we have our one of Shatterstorm, which you should have for um, for Were Prison. Like I said, they have things like uh, Witchbane Orb to blow our stuff up. Not blow our stuff up. To keep us from blowing their face up. And Shatterstorm just answers all their stuff cleanly. So pretty happy to have access to one of those. Also still has utility against like, um, what's the deck? Hardened Scales? And so it's pretty, it's a pretty nice card to have like access to exactly one of. Anger of the Gods is our sweeper for the creature matchups as well. Also has a lot of utility against Dredge as like an more pieces of graveyard hate. Um, and like yeah, it's like more sweepers. Like uh, we were talking about earlier in the stream, uh, you usually have them in the main deck, and now we have them in the sideboard. Which, um, as one basic witch brought up, might be a concession to the London Mulligan, but I don't really know. We're gonna we're gonna try stuff out and see see what feels good. But uh, the angers were beginning to feel bad. I was actually going to suggest next time I play Titan Shift switching back to Sweltering Suns because Dredge is less popular and like none of the like Bridgevine decks that you would want it for are very popular at all. And like it's only fine against Phoenix. So I don't think that like the card was very good in our main deck anymore at all. And I'm glad, I'm happy to see that Tien kind of made the same assessment and moved them to the sideboard. And last but not least, Ancient Grudge once again another piece of artifact hate. This one's a little better against decks like. I'll pick one, like, I guess Hardened Scales specifically because of the man lands. Like, if they go to Arcbound Ravager you with an Ink Moth Nexus, you can blow it up with an Ancient Grudge, and that's pretty nice. Um, like, we have Bolts to cover it too, but, like, having just access to Ancient Grudge for, like, Instant Speed Ravager shenanigans is really nice. And also, it's a varied CMC, so that, like, you don't really get, like, if they know you only have Shatterstorm as your hate, like, this them being War Prison, then they can just Chalice on 4 and you can't kill their stuff. And so, like, having varied artifact hate... Um, CMCs is pretty attractive for that matchup. So, there you go. I think the deck's pretty pretty well positioned. Like, if we can make our amulet matchup good with some acid mosses and some damping spheres, then then we're probably in really good shape because, like, I think a human's matchup's good. I think our Tron matchup's very good. So, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what's good. Let's see what's good.
As is, we're going to jump in the friendly. There's double the amount of people in there. Boop. Titan shift. London. Oh, no. I'm out of ticks. I guess I need to sell some chests. That's that's disastrous. I have two, three too many times. I'm going to have to actually sell some chests, which I have, like, an abundance of. So let's get, let's get an odd flex going on here. Is it even a good flex? I have 78 chests. It's not even a very good flex. It's a pretty atrocious flex. Maybe we'll just open them. All right, let's answer this stuff. Otarka, yeah, no kidding. I missed my caterpillar. Costa caterpillar is so good. If word comes back, just jam a Shatterstorm in the deck. Easy game, easy life. Otarka wrecks humans. We already wreck humans, though. Slows down dredge. We also already wrecked dredge. So, like, why is the card in our deck? I don't know. The tech. I think Swaltering is better with less dredge ramp for sure. Anger is actually not great against Phoenix. Yeah, I agree with that. One base glitch saying smart things. We've caught up on chat. All right. This hand is so close. The second land. This hand's actually pretty good. Maybe that's a reason to keep it. All these interactive cards. Bleh. Like, I love these four. Hate these three. We, our, our deck mulligans well. It's just mulligan. Oh, our deck mulligans well. Me, 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 me. How about now? Do you feel like an idiot yet, Drake? We have a 27 land deck. Are you kidding me with this? I think because we have a 27 land deck, we're supposed to keep this. Top. Playing tap land control. Then we have a bolt on turn two. Come on. That's modern power level. Turn two bolts. On the draw, this hand would be probably unacceptable, but play whatever if they don't play something we want to bolt we're gonna play relic it's gonna be great it's gonna be great chat nothing can go wrong literally nothing can go wrong drake should cut chameleon colossus kappa i'll, I'll do that talk is another threat if you're worried about land destruction plus surgical yeah it does kind of play to that like carnage tyrant role right uh, okay let's play this and this go oh. You got it. You got it again. Ooh, Jeskai. The old Jeskai control. You got it again. Ooh. Relic. I want to make land drops. So we're going to Hail Mary. Nice. Also, Asimos is probably great in this matchup. This is one I didn't talk about, that, like, if we draw a green source, like, ugh, puke. What do you think they have? Like, we're cutting them off logic not pretty well. Hmm. This makes me want to cast Search for tomorrow, then, like, crack Relic. I don't know. I might just, like, play Elder. I think I want to keep this so that, like, we're, we're still cutting them off Logic Knot. Spell Snare. Nice. Well, they're about to have Cryptic Command Mana, which kind of sucks. Hmm. This is, pretty, this is a pretty frustrating game. The amount of times we've missed in our 27 land deck is rough. They have Teferi Mana next turn. It's pretty gross. Cinderglade. Nice. Cinderglades, Clown. This has been a very embarrassing game. Um, search for tomorrow. Cast it. Logic knot for four mana. I debated countering that, which is odd to me. Alright, uh, we made our land drop this turn, right? Yeah, we did, I think, pretty sure we did, because we missed the last turn. Ha, getcha, boop, gotcha. Okay, so we might, we're struggling up to our, our actual scape shift mana. We're going to just kind of hope they don't have more counter spells by the time we actually get a scape shift in their hands full of bolts that don't really have targets. Ooh, no Teferi is a hit. That means they probably have Cryptic, though. There's a land. There's land number six. Can we jam? What are we doing? What do you think of Prismatic on my main deck? 
I like Prismatic on my main deck. I would probably play one over a Farseek for sure if like I was just to sleep the deck up. But once again, we're trying. We're trying Tian's List. With them at 18, keeping them off flashing back a Helix with Snapcatcher feels relevant since we check with Bolt with Relic. That's true. That's true. I agree. I also think just Relic keeping them off like big Logic Knots is relevant. Like here, if we if we slam Acid Moss, we actually keep them off Logic Knotting it, which is making me want to cast it. Acid Moss. Also just like working through Counter Magic is nice. Especially because they're missing land drops, like they have to counter this. We're killing that in case they have like some kind of Gideon or whatever in their main deck. Like I don't, I think it's much more likely they have. Uh, yeah, this is just cryptic command. Um, words, counter spell, draw card. You got it. Exile that, please. I think it's much more likely they have like something that costs two white in their deck than like a Kiki Jiki or something. Well, they could have Chandra in their deck. Either way, I got countered. It's not really relevant. They probably have Teferi in the deck. Shock. Play Teferi. Okay. You got it. I guess we're drawing to a land now. Like, unless they have specifically Negate, right? Like, they have to have exactly Negate. It makes me want to crack this Relic and stop. I don't think I'm going to do that. Boop. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna Hail Mary it. Secure a Tribal there. That counts. Oh, well, that's better. Uh. Four, seven. Try to kill you. Boop. Alright, please die. Please? Dead? Mm. Got him! I mean, this is such a bad matchup for them. We just hit land drops and they die. Yeah, I mean, we saw that. We literally missed our land drop. <laughs> we, you said hit land drops and they die. We didn't hit our land drops. Yeah, Acid Moss seems really good in this matchup. All right, now we're going to consult the article, the holy article. This is probably not coming across well for you guys. Oh, it's coming across. Okay, here we go. I'm going to post it in the chat. We're going to use Tien's article that I just posted in the chat. The sideboard. Let's see if there is control on here. Boop. Here's like a little guide. Oh, no. He shows the big decks. Shadow, humans, phoenix, dredge. Let's see how he sideboards for shadow. Out bolts and Chandra. Makes sense. In like that, that, that. He wants, he wants a Tarka against Shadow? Wild. All right. It's blue-white. I think we want Chandra. We want Tireless Tracker. We want Relic. Bolt seems atrocious. Bolt seems like Lily has no text. Engineer Explosive seems almost okay. Maybe it's not. What do we think of Engineer Explosives? Hmm. So we only have two colors. So it can't really even hit Detention Spheres, but it can hit Ruined Halo, which could randomly be relevant. I think if we're cutting Engineered Explosives, we should have Reclamation Sage in the deck, which actually does sound like an upgrade. Is this an Atarka matchup? Every matchup's an Atarka matchup. <laughs> Seraphix. Bring in Rex Sage. Are we bring in Atarka? I think I'm gonna bring in the Atarka. It does kill Teferi. After that, what do I want to cut then? We can cut like an actual land. I'm gonna cut a Farseek. Farseek's kind of atrocious. Alright. Sage also hits Search. That's true. Atarka that I never expected. We're bringing in the Atarka. Can someone relink the article? What happened to the link? Not a poke. It's also on Tian's, um, on Tian's, I think, Twitter. So if you go, like, look him up on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, it should be easy to find. Uh, this has lands, a payoff, and ramp, so it's hard to mulligan. So we'll keep easy mode. Oh, there you go. Thanks, thanks, chat. I really appreciate that. You guys are the real MVP. 
Easy keep. Oh, for sure. These, these are the hands I love to see. You love to see it. It's kind of weird because, like, I don't know if they bring in surgical, right? So, like, here on turn one, we have an actual decision to make. Do we play the Valakut? Because if we play the Valakut and they have Field of Ruin in Surgical, then we could just lose the game. Whereas if we just try to sandbag it for the entire game, then maybe we can play around it? I don't think I want to, but it is worth talking about. Boom. If we see the Surgical plan, like, we have to not draw a Relic before that happens. And they have to have both pieces. So, like, I, I don't think it's very likely to happen. Boop, my turn. Look, if we run the draw, Relic isn't even that good. Right, Light Total doesn't matter. Shock. Run this into your counter spell, and it's your turn. Oh, I shouldn't have six. They could, like, bolt it, and I feel really dumb. All right. Uh, they have a fetch lens, so they're going to be at 18 anyway. There's no need to crack. Okay. Ooh, Acid Moss. Acid Moss is nice. I don't think I want to Acid Moss this turn, though. Right? I think I want to Acid Moss next turn. I could. Is there a way we can, like, we can play a fourth land, sack for fifth land. Ugh, there's no way we can Acid Moss plus two drop tracker and play it. That sucks. So I think I want to jam Moss before we get cryptic. So let's do that. They almost certainly have the counter spell. So it's all about working through the correct counter spells. And like it has such a high upside if it resolves. Uh, what's more likely to matter? I think this. I've seen Absorb played in the list before. Please work. It's not going to, but please. If I say nicely, will you work? Oh no, we're about to get logic nodded for one. Disdainful stroke, bleh. It's also pretty good. All right, go. We can cast Summer's Pack still. Now that Summer's Pack is gonna be in Atarka, obviously. I do like that they're gonna have a hard time playing any of their engines. Maybe we're supposed to keep them from playing a Planeswalker this turn by no, because they play Planeswalker this turn. I'm going to two-drop a tracker, and, like, that's going to be pretty good. I think that'll keep up with the walker. Well, they didn't do that. So, boop. Let's get these into play. And these are... We might actually leave in play. See if they're going to try to just, like, literally cryptic anything with a target. They might. It looks like they're thinking about crypticing this. J-Train! Please try Pitch Blue. It costs like $3 if you have Deltas and Graves. Pitch Blue, huh? Is, is that that like terrible anti-Neoform deck? That has like Commandeer and stuff? Jeskai? Yeah, Jeskai I think does run field. I mean, they've played... What is it? Sean McLaren when he won the uh, Pro Tour with Jeskai had like three tech edges in his deck. They, they This mana base is kind of atrocious. <laughs> One basic witch. Sorry, it took me so long to respond. It looks so great. Commits a sub to submit it. What is this? An opt? You got it. Cut them off for Halo, man. That's, that's really smart, Teddy. I mean, Rune Halo is just not going to have a lot of text here, I don't think. Oh, God. Please play a Teferi. Oh, please. Please play a Teferi. Ironically, if they played a Teferi, I'd probably... I can't really think of a good reason to crack our Sakura Tribe Elders, so I don't think I'm going to. My turn. Uh, play this. Go to combat. Here, attack. hi -ya. Take action, opponent. Alright, they are now five bolts away from dead. Uh, we can grab land four, land five... I'd like to draw a second Valakut, that'd be nice. We're just going to kind of pressure their life total a little bit with Sakura Tribe Builders and try to set up to kill them with Valakut. Could be a good plan. They're not really doing anything. And we have, like, the opportunity to get ahead on mana whenever we want. Like, if we ever draw, like, a second payoff card, it's pretty reasonable to go ahead and crack these. It's a Lightning Helix. What are you helixing? Me? This? Alright, I'll stop you from gaining the life. You got it. 
crack it. Grab Mountain. That's a pretty nice exchange. I'll take it. This makes me think they're trying to resolve a Planeswalker. It's kind of what this looks like. Red. Bolt. Bolt my other Sakura Tri Builder. You got it. Red. All right. I'm not F6. What are you doing? You have a cryptic command? A Dragon Lord Atarka. Right. <laughs> okay. So I think they have cryptic command, right? So we can Summoner's Pack, see if they're willing to cryptic that. And if they do, then we Atarka. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're a land short of being able to Tireless Tracker plus Atarka. Which is honestly such a misplay. Uh, <laughs> Big Mama. <laughs> Doesn't Jeskai have the Field of Run Surgical Package? I don't know, Dennis. I don't know. We were supposed to find it off pack. What a punt! Oh. Bait with Pact for sure. Alright, alright. Let's let's cast Pact. If Pact resolves, we're gonna go grab um Tireless Tracker because of Disdainful Stroke. Boop. Like if they have Snapcaster Mage and are planning on just like Snapcasting Disdainful Stroke, then <laughs> Okay. Alright. Uh now I just wanna pass. Go. Like, they can't move. Or we get to, like, fetch, fetch, bolt you, bolt you, and then, like, keep our thing from getting bolted. Which is pretty dope. <laughs> hey, Pabs444, thank you much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Uh, I don't think... I think I just want to go to untap. Yeah, we're just going to untap. Okay. Uh... Let's pay green. Green, green, red, red. Yes, pay two to red. Yes. Search for tomorrow. Make another clue. Bolt you. All right. And now they have to answer my thing. Always, yes. Yes. Um. Combat. Like I said, we're still on the no moving. Uh, yeah, you're a nine. Go. What is this? A helix? Fetch. All right. Cross visual. Thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. All right. Let's go grab a cinder glade. Boop. Bolt you. Okay. Okay. And let's fetch again. Go grab a cinder glade. All right, bolt you. All right, we have four cards lined up. Bolt you. All right, let's crack a clue. Draw a card. All right, and then hopefully we draw. I don't even know what we could draw. I don't see them winning this game. All right, crack another clue. There you go, we have a 5-4. Your Helix resolves. Hey, a land, I got it. <laughs> we got, we have lethal in play. Very good opponent. What you got, a Teferi? What is this? Teferi, resolves. I got it. We both played hard. To tuck my tireless tracker. It's so atrocious. Okay. Yep. I'm surprised they left so many bolts in their deck. Maybe they just don't have a good sideboard for this matchup. Acid Moss? Puke. <laughs> we just have like a seven card hand. Let's pick how we want to kill our opponent. Um... 
I guess we'll just do it the easy way. Cast. Boop. Well, you. Okay. Totally end. Fetch. Bull. You. Wait. No, this is the fairy. No, you. Wait, you didn't let me pick. You didn't let me pick a target. Maximus Caesar. Thank you much for following. I really appreciate it. She's got the body just got control. That was repulsive. All right. Tyler Striker looked insane there. That was disgusting. What the hell? That was so good. It's part of a mana screw, so we have so many more lands than them. Pabs, no, Pabs, we, uh, as you saw, we just had, like, a lot of ramp spells, and they decided to just bolt my creatures. They didn't really get that land screwed. Like, they hit five without a problem. The target didn't look good. I don't think this is a match that's worth them committing sideboard slots to. It's just so bad for them. Well, one basic witch, I mean, you have a lot of really good cards. Like, you have, like, Disdainful Strokes, a great example, right? Where you just have these good cards against other people that are also very good against you, like the Gates and Disdainful Strokes. Disdainful Strokes is such a good example. Ugh, pay off Mopey lands. Our first draft spells on turn four. We can't keep a hand where our first plays on turn four, not in modern. Let's get this out of here. Ugh. I mean, this is fine. I missed humans. That's okay, more hardcore. I, uh, I'll, I'll have that video up on YouTube tonight, and I'll try to post it. If, if, if the humans group wants, I can post it in the humans group afterwards. Maybe I should post these videos in the, in the group after they go up. I probably will. I'll probably post the videos in both groups once, once they go up. Mostly because Dylan did it. So he's at the, ooh, that's a good one. Ugh. I don't get to play it on turn three because I have to fetch it away. This sucks. I've decided this sucks. Whatever, I think we still want it. I think we're just going to put it on top, and I think I will develop our mana with the Valakut first. This might be incorrect, but I think I really, really want that Ascent Moss. The second piece of ramp, I think, is so important. Planes. Aether Vial? Alright. Well, this incentivizes us to get these freaking fetch lands out of our hand. Destroy target land? Cool, it destroys no basics. Alright. Shocking here could be pretty dangerous. So I think I'm going to grab a forest. Can I afford to? Uh, six lands Titan with one forest. We have four lands. Yeah, we can grab. We can afford to grab one forest. Suspend. But the next, every other land has to be a mountain, and this has to grab a cinder glade. Our hand's not awesome in this matchup. Like, if this is humans, like, our hand's not super good. Like, we have none of our interaction, and, like, if this is, like, the Eldrazi in taxes, we can get clowned by some ghost quarters, plus, uh, what's his face? Thankfully, it is humans, not Eldrazi in taxes or whatever. But we could still get our thing meddling aged here. It's interesting to see how this matchup plays out with, uh, engineer explosives. London Mulligan plays. Yeah, no kidding. Humans still might clown you. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is a hand where we could easily lose to humans. Thalia, that's pretty good one. And a one drop. So they don't have champion of the pair, so they would have played it. Okay. Summoner's pack. That's pretty mopey. Um Just in case are they gonna play this Wooded Foothills? Sure. Yeah, I'll play Wooded Foothills. Um Don't think we're gonna crack it. We might crack it, because we don't really want to draw land. Stomping ground. We get the Acid Moss for five mana. The thing is, this Acid Moss is still so slow. Battling Mage. Name what? Sure. Is your name Search for Tomorrow? It's pretty cute. Probably incorrect. Probably with Titan would be a pretty frustrating name since we have that no scape shift. They're really debating naming this search for tomorrow. I think we're probably gonna die this game, chat. This does not look like one of the games we're gonna win against humans. Firedrake, why no sweepers in the sixty? What do you mean? Oh, there's a there's an engineered explosives in the main. I don't know. This is TN wins list. I think 
I kind of like it. Engineer Explosives, I mean, looks insane here. Lightning Bolt's a good heads-up name for my opponent. Also, shout-out to opponent for not ghosting. Blow up their lands. Uh-oh, what is this? Sure. Is this another one? It is. Search for a while. That's pretty rude. All right, engineer explosives would be a nutso draw. Oh, it would just make me so happy. Instep. Uh, I guess we'll fetch. Are we stomping ground? Nope. Not like to be too life. Okay. Okay. Uh, cinder blade. Rough. So we could grab a Scourge Eye Builder, but I don't think that's really accomplishing anything. So I'm just going to pass. And hope they have literally nothing else or we just die. Scourge Eye Builder is fine. I don't know. Were we supposed to back to Scourge Eye Builder there? Eye Builder. Crack, grab a sixth land. Player land for turn. We got Mountain Mountain. This forest really punished me because I didn't think I was going to have to hard Valakut so quickly. Alright, show me the Mantis Rider. Ugh. S nine. Lieutenant? I'll concede to a Lieutenant. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will hard. That sucks. Acid Moss, very, very bad in this matchup. Alright, back to the article. Tian Win article. Tian Win. Teach me the ways. I imagine a target comes in this matchup. Boop. Tron, Dredge, Phoenix, Humans. Out. Wow, we're not cutting Moss, we're cutting Scape Shifts? I hate that. Moss is so bad. Why? Why, 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 why? Well, we're going to do what you see here, and we're going to try it, but I get the impression that that is incorrect, because I don't think that Moss is very good. I, my intuition is to cut Moss, but maybe, maybe we just really need the ramp. I don't know. Relic, I agree, sucks. Boop. Uh, three Farseeks instead. That's more mana efficient. <sighs> All right, this is what Tianwen wants to do. So we're going to do it his way. He top eight at a Mythic Championship, and I did not. Boop. Anger of the Gods. Yes, card seems excellent. Engineer Explosives card seems excellent. Lightning Boat, here for it. Atarka, here for it. Do we want Chandra? Yeah, we do. I agree with all the ends. Maybe Bayloth. Maybe I just like kind of don't want these Bayloths. These Bayloths seem mopey. Mopey. But we're going to do it his way. I think if I were sideboarding, I would cut some mosses and I would not bring in the Bayloths. But I... We're going to try it his way. Uh, this hand looks fantastic. Still no sweeper or anything, but this develops our mana very well. Fetch. Shock. Yes. Suspend. Go. It's kind of unfortunate that suspending the second one opens me up to getting Meddling Mage on both of them, which would suck. They kept seven, too, so there's a high chance they have it. Bailos is huge versus humans. Really more hardcore? Really? What's up, Alabama fan? Cutting Scape Shift helps with Meddling Mage? Yeah, but yeah, it doesn't seem right. I mean, you need to be killing the Meddling Mages, I think. Moss. I'm going to Hail Mary. I'm, I'm going to choose to be mana efficient and Hail Mary that there's no Metal Image. Uh, we're going to get pretty boned by Metal Image if they have it. I'm having Aether Vile on turn one has been really good, too. I think we might lose this one, Jet. There's a good chance we lose this one. This not being a land and instead being an Acid Moss. This looks so bad here. Like, if they have Thalia, my God. Don't tap for blue. No blue? All right, cool. They should have the, all the one drop draw. Because this means they have at least one more one drop. Probably another champion. Oh, nope, nope, come back. You're supposed to be back. I don't think they have another champion. All right, I'm sorry. I don't think they have another, a third one drop. So that's at least exciting. All right, you cast. Okay. Cast. Always gonna be another mountain. 
Always gonna wanna make it move. Always gonna never draw lands in the 27 land deck. Sometimes you're gonna lose those games. All right. It's all because it's all because of, of my singing, isn't it, Alabama fan? Thank you very much for the subscription. I really appreciate it. If you have a sub list you want me to play, make sure you get that sent to me on whatever platform you would like. I have a lot of sub lists to play. Like I said, I'm gonna have to stream a lot more. What is my plan to win this game? I have multiple summers packs. Are we supposed to be summers packing for Baylos? Because I don't think we are. God, Moss is so bad against Aether Vial. Blech. Blech. I don't think I've iterated that enough yet. I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. You know it. Hey, thank you very much. Like last game, if you had Bayloth, they couldn't have attacked at all. That's not even true, right? They had Thali's Lieutenant and like a Mantis Rider. I just still died in the same amount of time. <laughs> oh. Because they just like attack or like the first time they just hit me for four and the second time they just attack with everybody. Thali's Lieutenant. They just have the aggro draw. Yeah, they just have the aggro draw. Which is fine. This is pretty weak to um, engineer explosives if we can draw one. Ugh. Being able to save myself four points here is nice. Sack, go grab a mountain. All right. Cast this, go grab another mountain, and then we might actually just play Chandra. Mountain. Primeval Titan. Because, like, we can Chandra minus, and then they have to, like, attack this. And if we spike a land, we get to Titan. Or we can blow up their land and hope they don't have anything relevant. We're at a high life total. I think I'm going to Chandra while I still can. Minus. Blow this up. Please. Go. And we're just going to hope to spike. Spike an untapped land, we get to Titan, and then we're just in great shape, I think. We actually get to grab, like, Valakut land, too. So, I have Valakut Mountain, so we can, like, blow up this Thalia's Lieutenant. Expect this to at least eat two damage, because I imagine they have another human to play this turn. Though, Acid Mossing was attractive because they're missing land drops, so, like, it turns them onto only one spell a turn. But I just think that, like, I just think that, like, the champion was going to represent too much damage. Sin Collector? That's fine. <laughs> Deal! That is the least scary thing you could have put into play. Oh. Now they kill Chandra for sure. Like I said, it's going to eat two damage at least, which is nice. They exile the Summoner's Pact. This means I don't think I'm dead. Alright. Oh no, they have no lieutenant? Come on. Come on. No. That's going to hurt. Oh, jeez. Yep. That sucks. Maybe maybe that means I should have mossed. Guarantees a Titan. Although I would take a billion this turn. This at Chandra. Eat four damage. This at me. Take six. Go to 11. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, perfect. We could have Tarka next turn. Is that good? This is 10, 11. We're just dead exaxes. All right, yeah. Oh! <laughs> what a tilting match. Got two owed by humans by some rather heinous sequence of draws. I won't lie to you guys. That was, that was disgusting. <laughs> Acid Moss looked thoroughly embarrassing. So we're one, we're one and one on Acid Moss looking great and looking embarrassing. All right, here we got another one. We're really getting to try Ma Moss out, huh? I mean, I'm keeping this. We have lands and spells. Yes. 
green suspend. We got a turn three acid moss, which is nice. Boop. Yep, still dead through that. Now you can see the power of far seek. Yeah, it would have been great as like anything else. Explore would have looked great here too. Especially because these lands are just like ugh, ugh tilt. All right, let's go. Oh, is he? Farseek. Sure. Green Farseek. All right. They played a tapped Sacred Foundry on turn one. What could they be? Would you like to pay your life? Would not pass. Ugh. No, she draw a payoff. I mean, we have like a turn to do it, so. No, two turns to do it? Yeah, we have two turns to draw it, so. Is this burn? There's no way this is burn, right? This would be a pretty heinous burn hand. Okay, I don't know what this is. Spirit Guide. Don't Blood Moon me. Are you kidding me? Okay, we got Chandra. That's much better than getting Blood Mooned. What'd you exile? Chalice on zero? Okay. I don't have a pact. I guess it shuts down my two packs. Uh, okay. I guess we're, we have to grab a forest now. In case we get blood mooned. That sucks. Moss. Alright, I should blow up all their lands. F them. Does this grab land untapped? No. Tilt. Moss, that. Uh, grab a forest. Right? Yeah, I should grab a basic forest. Let's not play any games with this. Forest. Alright, look at me. I'm the land destruction deck now. Blah, 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 blah. I wonder if they thought this countered search for it. For search for it tomorrow when I cast it. Because otherwise it seems a little odd. Like, there's a lot of value on playing it on two, I think. Exile the top card? Sure. Anger of the Gods? That's a pretty bad one. What do you have for two mana? Nothing? Good, because I'm going to blow up your land again. No pact. No pact. Please. Valapit. I'll take it. Does that kill Chandra yet? Oh my god, I'm an idiot and grabbed a forest. It's hard being an idiot. Let me tell you guys what. All right. Get your red lands out of here. I actually should have blow up the white source. That was a mistake because they have Chandra in play. Ah, I've been helixed. What is Zolt? Seven? All right. That's fine. Go grab Stomping Ground. Reject Baby Life. Would not. All right. Boop. Look at the look at the difference in mana here. This is uh, dramatic. All right, would you like to pick the life? Would not shoot that. Okay. Yes, I would like to use Valakut the Molten Pentacles ability. Go. Are you out of lands yet? You have three cards in hand. Please be out of lands? Question mark. Asimos look pretty good this game. For whatever that's worth. Make two red mana? Yeah, this is expected. I'll blow up my Valakut? Oh no! <laughs> they blew up their own freaking land. Sure, dude. You got it. Go. <laughs> oh, you blew up your only land, opponent. You boom busted your land. Sacred Foundry. I'm at nine. I'm dying quickly. Does that kill this Chandra? It does. Yes, die. This. Put you to put you to just chalice in play. Good clean living. Good clean living. Goodbye. Go! <laughs> nice boom bust deck. Very powerful. Okay, and Alright, let me check the life total real quick, chat. Uh, 22, we got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't, I don't know if we're going to have enough mountains in our deck. I just, I just don't know. 6, 7, we've been through 7. We only have 7 left. This has been quite the showing. Here you go, here's this card. Alright, is this one good? 
What do you think of this one, opponent? Oh, you're a fan? Excellent. All right, this can go, this can go, this can go. We have seven mountains, so I can just like sack everything, right? Maybe I'll leave one mountain in play, because I'm an idiot. How many lands is this? Oh my god, why is this so awful online? Five, six, seven, eight? Sure. All right, let's sack eight lands. All right, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I guess I grabbed this too. Fine. More mountains. More mountains. All right, Olympic clicking. Yes. They're gonna make me click through all of it. Wild. I guess my opponent had a good time. Oh, no, they're not. What oh, the best? The actual best. Seems close. We did it. Forehead. If we would have gotten Blood Moon. Yeah, no kidding. If you hadn't gotten a Forest, they could hurt your bone. I know, I know. All right. Atarka seems good here. It actually, actually, it's kind of a meme, but I bet you it actually is. Like, in their, I guess their Chandra deck with Blood Moons. They want, like, all this stuff. No, no, you go away. You go away. Go over there. Uh, Bayloth actually seems maybe okay, too. You don't know. It's like Sun and Moon deck. Hmm. Rexage seems impressive. Ancient Grudge might be impressive, too. I don't really know enough about their deck, other than it's like a boom-bust land destruction deck. So... Boom-bust. What tries to, like, cheat with boom-bust? Is there anything that does that? Like, do we want, like, Tracker? I guess we'll just put the Tracker in the deck. Shatterstorm, Explosives. I don't like Explosives very much. I don't really like the Relics very much. Maybe those are the changes? Do we like Bolt? Bolt's fine. I don't really think I want a fourth one. The old cutting, cutting three one drops for a seven drop, a four drop, and two three drops. Good deck building. If it submit, boom bus is the reason why you should have a third forest in your deck. We might actually get to see why I always play a third forest to Titan Shift. Is it red white prison? It looks like it. How do you know it's boom bus? Did you see it? Yeah, they boom busted their last land game one. Oh yeah, sounds great. Keep. If we get blood moon on turn one or two, whatever, which happens. These things happen. If I ever said I'm never scared, just know I mean it. I cut lands for seven drops all the time. Adam, you're a genius. Third forest is greater than fourth Cinderglade all day. I agree with you on that. I really like the, the third forest. And we just don't need 14 mountains. All right, Blood Moon me. Spit Spear Guide. Ah, Boom Bust. Excellent. Fantastic. And they have the flagstone, so they get the combo. It's my turn to be LD'd out of this game. This is good, clean, modern right here. Good, clean, modern. All right, here's another green source. My last green source. Please don't have another boom bust. Blech. Blood moon. <laughs> okay, we have challenges in our deck. Nice. Nice. <laughs> right on time. Uh, go. That's a, that's a hell of a curve against Titan Shift. Oh, it doesn't stop there. We have a Nahiri, too. All right. Lightning Helix to the bin. You got it. Go. I don't know what winning this game looks like. Is this thing ults next turn? I guess I just kind of want to see if they have an actual Emrakul. You got a five drop two. It's like actual two into three to four. Into five. What you got? Curve out on me. Oh, just more planeswalkers. Okay. Wow. Wow. Destroy all lands. Six mana, huh? We could bolt Nihiri. That doesn't feel like a winning line. Go! Show me the Emrakul. 
I'm not bolting the area. I don't, I'd rather I'd rather just like not show you the bolt that's still in my deck, so that you don't play around it. Maybe with your Gideon next time, and you just like make an emblem or whatever. Okay. Okay. I accept. They were only attacking for 19. We would have lived through that turn. All right. Still happy with what we're doing. Clicks a bit. <laughs> Typical play mistake of... Actually, you know what's funny is if one of those... Cinder... I wish we had a different Cinderglade for our fourth Cinderglade. Because then, like, we would have known, like, if one of them would have been a forest and, like, would have made that hand incredible instead of, like, unplayable. Basically, always. Probably just get smacked with a Titan. Nope. I've always played three forests. It's because you're a genius. Three forests is just correct. All right, we can fetch a forest. We can fetch a forest. A hey, keep. All right. Let's play a tap, stomping ground, and pass. No, let's not do that. Let's play one sub piece and pass. Now we've draw a fetch land. We can like actually just like keep them from boom busting on turn two. Tapped, cliff top or cheat. You got it. We did not draw the fetch land. Unlucky fetch. Grubby forest. Play this. Play this. Go. Uh, no, don't boom bust me. Because I want to blow up your lands. Chalice and Zero, stop doing that. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to get to blow up their land. That's nice. Maybe we should have grabbed the forest there, but I think we're going to grab the basic forest here. Moss. Vetch. Grab. Basic forest. Go. Die to this. Die to this. Die to this. That's another planes. That does not cast any of the spells. All right, here's a primal titan. Green, big titan. Die, you stupid blood moon deck. Here's my colossal dreadmaw. Yes, yes, dude. Very dead. Nice, nice land in graveyard. All right, got to beat the crap out of some red white prison. Pretty embarrassing that the Boom Bust, like, Chalice, Blood Moon deck can't be Titan Shift. But, you know, you know, it just be like that sometimes. It just be like that sometimes. You can tell it's Cienceless because it has Atarka. Exactly, Adam. I was mentioning that in the uh, deck breakdown that, like, Atarka is... Atarka's bad. <laughs> that card is a million freaking mana. <laughs> Although, ironically... It does make having only two forests a little bit better because in times where you get blood mooned and they blow up one of your forests with like boom bust or something, you can still cast a Tarka with your packs, whereas you can't take, you can't cast Titan. Genius. Genius. Big Mama Atarka. Oh, Atarka's great. Thalion is coming, coming to the aid of Atarka. Wait, Drake, there's a problem with that play. What's the problem, Mitch? All right, Jeff Hindala, would you like to play first? I would love to. This hand is atrocious. Mulligan. This hand is also atrocious. Uh, do we just keep it up there on a creature deck? How many creature decks are there in the front? There's not a lot, but Mulligan to five is pretty bad. I'm just gonna keep, keep, ramp spell on top. Ding. All right, we're gonna conceal what deck we are by playing a windswept teeth on turn one. Actually, it's not true. I'm playing Mountain on turn one. That way I can bolt if I have to. Like, they play turn one mana creature, I want to bolt, so. I'm supposed to Mountain on turn one instead of getting cute. Ooh. Ominous Bloodstained Mire. Ah, it might be Shadow. Spooky. Stomping Ground. Shock. Play a mana creature. Shriekhorn. No, not Dredge. Sand's so bad against Dredge. Darn. Ugh. Oh, no. This is a disaster, chat. Alright, on the bright side, this is a really good matchup. So, like, 
we'll win the post board games. And like Relic is a relevant draw, but we drew the wrong half of the interaction for sure. For sure. Yep. Stink we up on the first Tricorn. It's so easy. It's just not hard. Playing Dredge is just so freaking easy. All right. What's in your graveyard? How many million pounds of things are in your graveyard yet? Ugh. I mean, we still have a chance to win this game. They're not, they haven't put any power into play yet. Crack this. Mountain. Good card. That's not a good card. All right, go. We need them to fade like another turn or two. Narc. All right, try to hit an amalgam. You did not. You hit a conflag. All right, just one narc amoeba is very beatable. Uh oh, not a cathartic reunion. Oh, puke. All right, now we're gonna have a hard time winning this game. That's a lot of damage. Creeping chill and a narc amoeba and a second creeping chill and a second amalgam, huh? Well, that's pretty bad. That is not ideal. Three narc amoebas, A. Eh? All right. Yeah, we're going to have a real tough time winning this one. Yep, get some stuff back. Has to be like something into escape shift. Good one. Ding. It's a ram spell. Take it. Ooh, cast. Uh, forest. Forest. Mount. Um, hmm. Four, five, six, seven. We have a seventh land. We have two bolts. In case they hit creeping chills. Okay. Wait, are we just dead? Six, nine, damn she fine. Fifteen. They have fifteen right now, so we have to bolt one of these stupid amalgams. That sucks. But they can conflag for all but one. Did they pick up life in the lump? Yeah, they did. So they can conflag for all but one. Oh no, they can't because they have a black source. Dark Dark Wars Salvage looks atrocious here. They have another cathartic? Bleh. That sucks. Uh, so they have a Dak more. We're in pretty rough shape. Two weekend chills. We can take six to eight. We bolt, bolt, take three. But then we still can't win. All right, yeah, we're dead. We died. We're dead. I get it. We're dead. F and M finals. Anger be nice. Oh wait, look, no need for the passive aggression. The game, at, the game one's still hard anyway. All right, is Dredge on? Is Dredge on TN's guide? Let's look. What? Uh, Dredge. It is excellent. Take out bolts and Chandra and EE -E for. All right, bolts. This all makes sense. Chandra EE -E for Baylos. Why do you want Baylos? Stop bringing this card in. Just stop. Make it stop. Stop. Don't do it. Are we bringing a Tark in? What do you mean? Why, why aren't we bringing a Tark in? <laughs> I want to play a Tarka. Put it in my deck. Oh, gosh. Acid Moss is so bad in this matchup. Maybe we are supposed to have this card in our deck. Like, with, like, a Relic, it might actually be, like, a real plan. I kind of want to bring it in. What do we What do we say, Chad? Are we bringing in, are we bringing in a Tarka? They don't have double red, Drake. Bailos is pretty decent versus Dredge. Stop hating on seven hundred eighty. It's no idea why we're registering or boarding that card in. Yes, always. All right, chat. Chat wants to bring a Tark in. All right, we're putting a Tark in our deck. What are we cutting? What are we cutting? Blow up their lands. We're <laughs> blowing up their lands. Oh, Tarka. Tarka, Tarka, Tarka. What are we cutting? We're, we're cutting Acid Moss? Cut Moss. You got it. Boom. Correct sideboarding here at uh, Viral Drake Stream. We do only correct sideboarding. Atark is much greater than Moss. And it beats Narcomibus. Just good freaking deck building. Just good deck building. Snap keep. Look, we have our Atarka already. So we already have our hate card. We have our like relic to slow him down a little bit. 
And then we have Titan for eventually, after we Atarka them. So, uh, this is just... Everything's lining up exactly the way we want it to. Go! Tramples over Stinkweed. Insane! Just insane. Oh, he dead. Relic you. Relic you. Relic that too. Nope, relic that. Okay. Boop. Now we have to hold a mana up for the rest of the game, which kind of sucks. Hey, Anger the Gods. That's a pretty good match card. I don't have anything to play on two anyway. Joke's on you, opponent. We got two pieces of hate now. Creeping chill. Rude. Yep, take my three. We were going to kill him with the target anyway, so it's not like... It's not like that does anything. Yep, tree corn. No things to dredge. Nice! Your deck's powerful. So you just get to wait on this relic even longer. It's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice, pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Faith the looting resolves. Derp, derp, derp. Put a graveyard that I can't beat. Blood gas, you can dredge three, big dog. Oh, hmm. I guess this is kind of a tough decision. Like, do I want to let them have a blood gas? I think I do. Eh. Nah. Exile, graveyards, draw a card. I want to draw ramp spells. Hey, I drew a ramp spell. I'm a genius. Like, if they have another looting, they can play it here, but I don't really, I don't much care. We have a, we have an anger of the gods, so I'm kind of idiot proof anyway. Uh, dang. We have all these cards that aren't target in our hand. And that's just really frustrating. All right, boop. Boop. Play this thing. Go. So we have land four, five. We're going to be missing on six. Thug Amalgam. That's a pretty good sequence. Creeping Chill. Stinkweed Imp. Lots of other good cards. And a Faith Asserting. You shit great. You have a Cathartic? Coop. You should Cathartic and put all your things into play. You should put all your creatures into play. All of them. I want to anger them all away. It's two Amalgams. Two Amoebas. Two Amalgams. Pretty nice. It's a pretty nice anger. I mean, we were basically angering anything that they put into play this turn, so pretty happy with this result. Stuff. Uh, yeah, let's just crack this. Go grab a mountain. Oh my gosh. Mountain. Okay. We can grab Cinder Glade at any time and we want to draw land, so there's no reason to crack this fetch land. We drew another fetch land. I'm owning. Alright. Uh, play a forest. Anger of the Gods, all this crap away, and ship the turn back. Next turn we have Titan and Escape Shift, so we're, we're in good shape. As long as they don't hit, like, the nuts, we're doing pretty good. God, this, like, them hitting all their Creeping Gels, though, is pretty rough. Because we have to fetch down to, like, nine, or whatever. Like, they just get a loam here, which is pretty stupid. Yep, loam up to nine, play a land, discard a land, or whatever. Thankfully, that does not have haste. Looting. Oh my god. It, now it has haste? You're so lucky. Well, I guess we're dead. <laughs> Jeez. Relic and anger, not enough to beat dredge. Dredge too strong. So we can fetch to five, but we're just dead to conflagrate, which is right there. Wait, no, we just win, right? Because I can... I can kill them, right? We have Summer's Pack for Secure Child Elder? No, that's still only seven, right? We have no way to put two lands into play? Five, six, seven. We can do 18, but 18 is not enough. We need an extra land. <clears throat> I yeah, screwed this game up somewhere. Losing the dredge is kind of a tilt because this matchup's like very, very good for us, but their hands were very good.
I mean, it's turn five, and they have 11 cards in their deck. And they said the deck needed the London Mulligan to be good. I think we're just dead. Just double-checking. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to make a final line. We're dead. Blech! Well, Acid Moss looked the Church is there, so once again, we're back and forth. We have two matches where Acid Moss looked great and two matches where it looked atrocious. Maybe that means Acid Moss is supposed to be like in our sideboard or something. I don't really know. Obviously, it's better in a room full of Tron, and we haven't played Tron like ever. Tron, nobody plays Tron online, really. And so, like, it might just mean it's a bad choice for Magic Online, but the card is... The card seems pretty good. Pretty depressed that it's looked so bad. Pack for Bailoff only out. Pack for Bailoff is not going to win the game. All right. Yeah, this looks like a keep. Where's Dredge now? We have three different versions of interaction. So, like, no matter what they're doing, hopefully our interaction will matter. Oh, my God. <laughs> I literally was just saying nobody plays Strahd. Kept a hand with every piece of interaction except, like, Acid Moss or whatever. This is just, this is poetic justice, truly. All right. You got me. Join the land is nice, at least. We have also a lightning bolt for Karn, which is pretty nice. Life total does not really matter. Whereas having all your colors does. After you get Karned. <clears throat> Well, I'm excited that we actually did get to play against Tron because I really want to Acid Moss Tron. Let me tell you guys what. Yep, play your stupid Ancient Stirrings. <laughs> or Sylvan Scrying, sure. We have Tron on turn three. Puke. Puke! What if they have the new Karn? Because it's going to make this Relic look really bad. Always yield. Like, I kind of want to almost play around it by not playing Relic this turn. Like, normally I'd play Relic this turn. I almost want to just not. But it's, like, a good effective way to use our mana if we just play, like, Valakut. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. Now I'm just going to get Karned. This is fine. Exile card from your graveyard. God, no Emrakul for you. Primed and ready to draw Acid Boss right now. Karn liberated. Exiled your Velocut. Name's Tron. I Tron all your lands. Cast. People playing new card in People playing new card in everything. Just put that card in everything. It doesn't matter. Put, put the card in absolutely everything. None of it matters. Boop. Get this out of my face. Die. We're so dead, it's unreal. Exile. Exile, card liberated. Farzik. Blech. Go. Once again, set ourselves up to draw moss. Uh, Tower Ulamog. Exile your two lands. Blah, 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 draw, 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 draw. Ooga booga card. <laughs> Oh, we're so dead. What is this? A sphere? Sure. I guess I guess this isn't slim slamming Ulamog, so we have a chance. Tron was once our best matchup, I'll have you know. A car and liberated? Sure. Why not? Sure. Bolt. We're not dead. Okay, that much about Karn. Vex all lands. If you're just going to exile two lands, I think I'm okay with that. You got it. Alright. If you show me a little bit, I'll concede. Yeah, alright, cool. Fun. Fun game! Nice modern deck. Gosh. 
All right. If I mentioned Tron is, like many other Magic players, my least favorite part of Modern. Followed closely by Burn. Closely. All right. Is Tron on this? Sideboard guide. It is. All right, Tien. Give us the wisdom we need to beat the Trons. Leaving a Relic in. Wild. I actually think Bolt's a little bit better than Relic. I think we're going to deviate from what he does, because I do like Bolt a little bit. So, I think Relic is actively atrocious. And so is this. And we're going to leave one Lightning Bolt in. So cut down one Bolt. Chandra! You want Chandra in this matchup? Just wild. Rex Sage seems fine. You want Tracker in this matchup too? I guess it's actually pretty good under Damping Sphere. Tracker's pretty good at closing games. Whatever, we'll put Chandra in my deck too. Fine, let's put it all in my deck. Bolt's probably a little better than Chandra in my opinion too, but... Wow, screw Tron. Yeah, no kidding. Tower card, Lattice. Blah, 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 blah. I enjoy playing against Tron. Well, that's probably because you have a great matchup. What about Grishel Brand? I don't mind that deck at all. That deck's terrible. <laughs> that deck is just like... Okay, it's not terrible. It's just like... It's fail rate is high. No! I finally have a Moss in the hands unplayable. Alright, we have a Moss in the hands playable, so I'm in. Lock it in. Lock it in! We got a turn three Moss. On the play. Get him. Who's the Karn now? I'm the Karn. Uh, why couldn't that be in my hand? London Mall going to be great here. Because this could be in my hand. And I could just put this Chandra on bottom for the escape shift. And it should be awesome. I should draw a land. So bottom this. My name's Trod. I'm thinking on your upkeep. Trod, Trod, Trod. Go. Needs more Atarka. Yeah, I should have brought in Atarka. See, that kills that kills cards after they minus on my lands. This guy gets it. Chromatic Star. I'm Tron. I play eggs. Farseek. Tilt. Fetch. Shock. Farseek. Boop. Would you like to pay two life? No. Maybe we should have grabbed a basic there in case we draw Cinderglade as our fourth land. That was, like, actually legitimately worth considering. But, looking to spike a land. You know how it be. Alright, looks like they have a scrying or a strings. Okay. Tron land scrying. Alright, they should have strings. That's fine. That's fine. They just have green demonic tutor for one mana. This deck is ridiculous. Sanctum of Ugin, we're so lucky. We're so lucky. Look how slow this hand is. Watch, we're just not going to spike now, too. Oh my god. <laughs> the fact we missed. Uh. Try Elder. Suspend search. Oh, well, we're, we have a fail rate, too. The amount of times we've missed our fourth land drop in our 27 land deck is kind of a tilt, but it looks like my opponent has kind of a mediocre draw. Like, they're going to map for a Tron land, and then we're going to blow up whatever Tron land they grab because they tutored for it. They grabbed Urza's mine. All right, yeah, we're blowing the crap out of the mine. It is going to outer space. The final frontier. Blech. Taste it, Tron. You want to know what it's like having your lands blown up? You're going to learn today. Why Why are you thinking of my tribal on this deck? Yeah. Always the olds. Here we go. Here we go. And we draw a land now. I mean, I'm, I'm happy. But also, yo, deck, what the heck? Blow that up. Goodbye to Narnia. To the Shadow Realm with you, opponent. Float a mana. You got it. I got it. Boom. Alright, we get our seventh land next turn, so we can... Scapeshift them and then Chandra them. I don't know. Sylvan Scrying. You got it. Now, that, and that plays around them having a Karn, so we're just going to Scapeshift them and put them to... Two, and then we're going to Chandra them. 
Or if we draw land, they just die. But, guessed. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We have the escape shift draw. All right, Farseek. Farseek kills my opponent. Farseek. Uh, Cinderglade. Nice. Good game, opponent. We both played hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all my lands. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, why is the highlighting on this so bad? Mountains. Yes, shoot you, and this one can shoot you, and this one will shoot you. Come back. I'm blowing your face up. Kablooey. All right, Atarka, yes or no? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not putting a target. We're not putting a target in our deck. Who got it? I got it. <laughs> Tastes like moss. Explain quality. Moto is a quality program. Oh, this hand is so bad. This hand is so bad. We don't interact in any way, but it has so much ramp. Oh, Chandra. Why is this card in our deck? Whatever, I'll keep it. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. There's no, I don't think we can pitch this back. I, I legitimately don't. Like, we're going to get turn three card, and it's going to suck. But I don't think we can pitch this hand. We're going to draw Moss. You have no fear. We're going to draw Moss or... Um... Or Damping Sphere. Dub, no worries. No worries, chat. Means no worries for the rest of your days. All right. Although Moss would actually be too slow this game, which is also kind of a tilt. It's my problem free. Shock land. Casker, a tribe builder. Go! Alright, Karn me, father. Karn me. Okay. So they exile land. We just, like, attack it with a Sakura tribe builder, right? No, I think I want them to blow up a land. I'm just kidding. Plus, if we draw Moss, yeah, if we draw Moss, we really want to have cracked. So this plays this plays to us drawing well. Cast. Loop. Bolt. Well, Bolt works too. Cinderglade. Uh, red. Loop. Loop. Cast. Dash. Put. Oh, this is so bad. I should have played Chandra. Oh, no. I should have played Chandra plus up and bolted. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm so bad at this game. That's okay, Drake. It's all right. We will we will push on. It'll be great. We have a Titan next turn, even around being turn three Karn. Like, if they if their follow-up here isn't great, like, just like another Karn or Ulamog, then we do have a Titan. So, like, that's nice. Like, they can't have it all every game, right, chat? Come on. They've done no cantripping. Although, they're about to do some cantripping. Come on, they don't have it. God, I suck at this game. I was just so excited to be able to cast my ramp spells. <sighs> Dang. Ghost quarter? That doesn't matter. Land. Nice. Alright, cast my Colossal Dreadmaw. Okay. Yes, I would like to use Titan's ability to go grab... They might have the uh, Ghost Quarter Surgical plan, so we want to grab two Valakuts. I mean, we grab two Valakuts anyway, but it is extra important that we grab two Valakuts because of the potential for Ghost Quarter uh, Surgical game plan. Could also have an Ulamog here. That'd be kind of frustrating. 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, this is, this is Ulamog mana. Tilt! Shiny Psyduck. Thank you much for the follow. I really appreciate it. All right, well, this is interesting. They have to exile, like, Titan plus an Valakut. And then we're drawing to Scapeshift. Chandra plus an Escape Shift. Oh, they're just going to do that. 
Well, that's noticeably worse. Okay. Ooh, does that assemble a kill? I think it does. Chad, I think my opponent is dead. Nice. Ulamog. <laughs> oh man let's play this fetch land one two three four five six seven i would like to go to combat i'm gonna attack with my primeval titan okay would you like to use primeval titan's ability yes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, cool. We have plenty of lands. All right, I should grab two fetch lands. It doesn't matter, right? Oop. Two fetch lands. Oh, what a misclick. My name is Titan Shift, and I suck at magic. Psych. That's the wrong number. Escape Shift, you. So satisfying. Blow up all my lands. How many mountains have we been through? One. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, we got plenty. All right, what do we need? Dime lands? Valakut. Valakut. Val, 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 valakut. This is why Tron is a favorable matchup. Because even blowing up four lands, although I guess we did Bolt Karn, but even though they mostly blow up four lands, we still put everything into play. I need more mountains? Fine. More mountains. Would you like to make your life? No. No. Face! Face! Face again! This one will also go face. This one, let's see, what do we got to target? We have an Ulamog, I guess face. Uh, this one will also go face. I elect for this one to go face. And this one. Where are you going, opponent? Uh, stop it! I'm blowing your face up! We're owning! <laughs> I'd pay four for the flex. Oh yeah. Nice, Tron deck. Blah, 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 blah. Look at all these face. Train. All right, well that was satisfying. Nothing quite irritates me like Tron. And we got we got another 3-2. Three, I 3-2 three, two with both decks that I played tonight. Oh, spoilers. If you're at the end of the Titan Shift video, then you know what happens at the end of the Humans video earlier. But, 3-2 with both decks tonight, and like, honestly, losing to Dredge kind of feels like a fluke. It is, I think, a little indicative that our main deck is worse than it maybe could be against Dredge, but I don't think that matters terribly much. I mean, I've played, I've played Titan Shift before without any Graveyard aid at all against uh, Dredge and felt fine. I don't know. I don't really think... I, the point is, I don't really don't think we need more for Dredge just because we lost to it. That kind of felt like a fluke. Tron still does feel pretty close, and the Acid Wasp was nice. Like, it single-handedly won me that game, too. Like, we were probably winning anyway, but, like, it functioned as a ramp spell that was, like, relevant interaction in the matchup. So, that's pretty nice. Um, I have to say, the engineered explosives in the main deck felt aggressively mediocre we never cast it but i never really even wanted to draw it like bolt there was times i wanted to draw that relic looks very good as it always does chandra looked reasonable like if i would have actually cast it that one turn and it was also like pretty good against the control deck and the like uh prison deck is just like another threat so chandra looked good uh far seek looked uh, moss looked uh, which about sums it all up ruc memory thank you very much for the follow i really appreciate it Turns out, I know, Jossie Titan doesn't quite beat... Well, there's two volcanoes. There was two. Come on. He built the deck for heavy humans meta, to be fair. I mean, if you built the deck for heavy humans meta, then, like, you wouldn't have uh, relics in your deck, right? Or, like, acid moss. Because we lost the humans, right? That was one of our other losses. We, like, got bodied by humans, and we got bodied by, uh, by dredge. Those were our two losses. Two matchups that are traditionally favorable, and I talked about being favorable at the beginning of this video. But... Like, I think our configuration is actually worse against humans than normal because we don't have any of the damage-based sweepers. And, like, I don't think Chandra is a real card against them. And we also have a high concentration of relics in the main deck. So, like, all that to say, I think that we're a little worse 
against humans, actually. And I also think we're a little worse against Dredge. Now, our sideboard is well stocked. Like, we have, like I said, Anger of the Gods. We got another Explosives. We got Bolt. We have plenty of cards in the sideboard to help, like, shore up some of those matchups. But, like, Titan Shift doesn't... Titan Shift is a deck that gains a lot out of playing best of three magic, but in general does not have good ways to find its sideboard cards. So you have to play high numbers of them or you're not going to see them very often. So all these like two ofs in the sideboard and stuff like that, you're just not going to see very often. I think that the lack of Colony Heart Expedition really cost us a lot in explosiveness. So like, I mean, that's a card I traditionally play a lot as Explore plus Colony Heart Expedition. Not having access to Expedition means that like our deck was noticeably slower. Like Asimos is much, much more noticeably slower than I expected it to even be. And if the interaction half of Moa on the Acid Moss is not, like isn't doing anything, then I don't think the card is very good in our deck and i think our, it's going to show in our win rate and i think it did like the fact asin moss wasn't good against dredge wasn't really good against humans like really really demonstrated like how much like how easily the those two decks can just turn the corner on us if we're just a little bit slower than we are otherwise but i really liked i felt like our control that like our control matchup was actually pretty heavily improved which is one that i was beginning to get scared i'd said previously i was scared was going to be bad um like, as the format develops, like, especially previously with all, the, like, the field of ruins and stuff like that, like, I kind of felt like it was at the point where blue-white was favored against um, Titan Shift the last I played it. So, like, the fact that we shored that matchup up is really nice, but I do think we have cost our deck a little bit in power level. So, going forward, I think I still like some number of Acid Moss. I don't think three is correct, so I think maybe I would consider playing like two and like then I have all of these slots to maybe do like three Farseek, two Colony Heart Expedition, which is like a reasonable package. Like I don't mind keeping the Chandra here and the Relics and the Bolts. I, the Engineered Explosives, I'm, I really want to be like a Sweltering Sounds or Anger in the main deck. So maybe I would change these cards to go back to playing my um, my split of three Explorers, two Colony Heart Expeditions and maybe like a better interactive piece. Um, but I think I would keep the two Moss around. I like, I like Asin Moss enough that I think it's worth having two. And last but not least, I think I want the third forest back still. I, I didn't really feel like we needed 14 mountains and having a pile of Cinder Glades was kind of awkward. So like, I think cutting a Cinder Glade for a forest just to kind of go back to like the mana base I really like, I think is probably really good. Um, so yeah, I would probably put another forest in the deck. I would probably, so I'd make this change. And then I would want these to be the Explore Colony Art Expedition package, but just very light. I think cutting some of it for Acid Mosses is pretty good because the interaction does matter in a fair amount of matchups. But, like, Acid Moss is just, like, kind of awkward otherwise. Specialist list due to face-up deck list does make a decent impact on the 75. Well, Teddy, how do, I mean, how does it... How is that true? Like, I think Titan Shift doesn't change really at all with face-up matchups. Like, one basic witch was in here earlier saying that she thought... Um, that the engineer explosives was because of face-up deck lists. Like, Anger of the Gods is a little worse with face-up deck lists, and I just don't know if that's true. Like, I feel like I feel like this entire idea of face-up deck lists, like, Titan Shift is fine playing as face-up as possible, and you'd rather just hedge your deck to play the best cards possible and not really, like, for, for the expected metagame, which is what I think actually happened. Like, Acid Moss is, like, a concession to the fact he expected a lot of Tron. And, like... I, I don't know. I think he played Engineered Explosives thinking it was going to be better against humans, whereas I don't necessarily think that's true. All right. And I do, yeah, I do kind of want a Prismatic Omen, but I don't really know where to put it. Cross. EE -E has game versus Tron, Wur, and other stuff. Yeah, Wur is a good reason. And like TT plus Ascension. Yeah, Colby, that's a good point. Can we go back to 17 where you can register 2 to 3 Chandra and 2 to 3 E and you're 75, 2017? Yeah, I don't know about that one. Moss seems like a legit sideboard card, not necessarily main. Blind Man, it's a little low impact, isn't it? Don't you think for a sideboard card? Like, the thing is it makes a good main deck card because it still fits to your ramp plan. Whereas, like, if it was a sideboard card, it feels like a little bit low impact, right? Where you just want, like, damping spears and stuff like that. Prismatic Omen greater than EE. Thalion, I don't think that's a one-for-one -one switch, right? How does Omen work with Blood Moon? It's layering. So whichever one comes down first is the one that applies. So here's how it works. Uh, if you play 
Prismatic Omen, then Blood Moon, after Prismatic Omen. All of your non-basic lands do not tap for any color of mana, whereas all of your basic lands do. Because all your basic lands will always tap for all man uh, mana of any color under Blood Moon because they're not actually impacted by Blood Moon. So your mountains will still tap for green with a Prismatic Omen in play at every point in time under Blood Moon. However, if you Blood Moon comes down first and then... Um, wait, no, this isn't layering. This is time stamping. Either way. Um, and then Prismatic Omen comes down after the Blood Moon, then all of your non-basic lands will tap for a mana of any color. I love you too, Notorious BZA. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap up Titan Shift. Oh, I didn't really talk about the sideboard. The sideboard, I mean, Atarka, Atarka was an option. The one time we wanted it, it would have looked okay. It still feels a little extreme and kind of pet cardy, but I, I don't know. I don't like it very much. Um, the rest of it felt pretty clean. I still think this could be easily a Flame Slash and it would be an, an upgrade. Like, you do still want a one mana removal spell, but I don't think Lightning Bolt's necessarily what you want. So, I'd probably play like... A flame slash here, and then like something a little better here. I don't, I don't know what it is though. Like maybe like a commune, a primal command. There's a lot of cards I would consider playing. Um, even like another Bayloth is reasonable over the Atarka, but I'm not in love with Atarka at all. Um, yeah, the rest of the slots actually seem pretty good. I like the sideboard. I like a lot of what this main deck has going on, but I, I do think Farseek is pretty low impact, and I think we did have too many acid mosses. Um, it has to do with layers and timestamps, I assume. It's one of the two. Layering, I think, is different than timestamping because layering is just, like, at what point things happen. It's, like, really complicated. Layering's weird. I'm not a judge for a reason. All right. I think... Yeah, I think there's no more questions. That about wraps it up. I think that's all I have to say about the Titan Ship deck. Titan Ship does feel like it's in a good spot, and it obviously is. Top 8 of the Barretto, right? Or, I'm sorry, the Mythic Championship. The top 8 of the Mythic Championship, so it's clearly in a pretty good spot, which is nice to hear. I really like that Titan Ship's in a good spot. It's a deck I'm a pretty big fan of and is quite near and dear to my heart. Um, Humans, also in a good spot. Really like where Modern is right now. If Tron and Burn could just, like, get nuked, I'd really like Modern a real lot, but those, those strategies, I think, are verifiably miserable. Well, they affect on the same layer. Yeah, timestamps determine which effect happens. Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't have anything to do with layering at all. It has entirely to do with uh, timestamping. Anyway, that'll do it for the day. Thank you all for the for those of you that hung around in my uh, my Twitch chat today. I really appreciate that. Um, if you liked what you saw and you've not jammed that follow button yet, please do so. It's easy to way to support me on Twitch, and we'll let you know when I go live. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you very much for supporting my content. If you like what you see here, you should jam that subscribe button. Easy to way to support me on YouTube, and we'll let you know when I post more videos on YouTube. Also, if you've been watching, you've seen this wonderful scrolling list of sponsors beneath my face. They sponsor not just the stream, but also Team Nova, and you should go check their stuff out. Manatraders.com is the reason I get to play all these super sweet decks for you whenever I want. They let me borrow whatever cards I want um, for um, MTGO, and also they let me borrow up to a limit cards to uh, play in papers, so I could not grind the magic tournaments I do and the online leagues I do without mana traders. Huge shout out to them. Highly, highly recommend if you're looking to get into competitive magic or even if you're just looking to get a little bit better that you check their service out. It'll give you the flexibility to play whatever you want with no cost um, restriction. So you should use code TEAMNOVAMTG for 15% off your first three months with them. You can find a referral link in the uh, panels below if you're on Twitch or in the description below if you're on YouTube to get started with that. Once again, team code Team Nova MTG um, to check that out. The code will also be, once again, in the panels and description for you guys to look at. Next up, we got Hipsters of the Coast. This is the content production website that myself and the rest of Team Nova writes for. We also, Team Nova writes a uh, What We'd Play, very similar to the What We'd Play for SEG, that has the deck list that we're going to be playing every given weekend, barring no audibles, uh, which we will be posting on the team Twitter from this point forward. So make sure you follow Team Team Nova at Team Nova MTG on Twitter. There you go. There's the first shout out for the, for the Nova Twitter. Uh, anyways. Hips is the Coast has a lot of great content for you guys to get better at magic. Doesn't cost you a thing. Go read some awesome articles. Check out some of their podcasts, their merchandise. They have a lot to offer. Their website's very intuitive and easy to use. Highly recommend you check them out. Once again, doesn't cost you anything and supports all of us here at Team Nova and myself. Also, we have Inklin Customs is a sponsor of ours. She's an artist that follows around a lot of the major Magic the Gathering tournaments, including the Mythic Championships, the Open, stuff like that. She has a website that you can find in the panel slash description below, depending on your platform. And you can check out all of her merchandise. Everything is very, very reasonably costed, and all her artwork is fantastic. She did our, our uh, specialized tokens. She did our playmats. She did our, uh, our logo. And all of those look awesome. Could not be happier with them. She's a great person. So please check all of her stuff out. 
and support her, buy her stuff. Maybe you can get a custom token of yourself. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what the rate is on that, but you can figure that out. Once again, her website is in the panel slash description below. Go check her out. She's awesome. Last but not least, the End Games is a store in Charlottesville. They do have an online storefront, so you can you can buy from them. You can get use code Team Nova MTG for ten percent off your order. Um, so highly recommend check that out. Save you a little bit of money. Also support a great game store that supports Team Nova and helps us out with both you know giving cards for Week One Standard and stuff like that, and also giving a discount on cards that we need to buy. Um, so you, like I said, you can participate in that discount as well. Use code Team Nova MTG at checkout, and you can get ten percent off your card purchases from the end games thank you very much for all of your support and i will see you guys next week